down the factory on Monday, so I thought I'd do a bit of a trip down. Weather's come in, unfortunately, but uh, we'll still head off. Got two days, so um, I'm gonna head down the coast road this time. A little, uh, do a little trip down that way. See what the coast is like, and then uh, head across into the factory by Monday morning and meet the boys down there. So, uh, got to pick up a van for a customer, so I thought I'd get out and uh, do a bit of travelling. I've had a chance this year. I've been pretty busy with um, all the shows and the caravans and vibe and stuff. It's uh, taken up a lot of time, so I haven't had a chance to really hit the road as much as I want. But um, anyway, always got no plans. Don't even know where we're staying, so we'll just um, hit the road, see what we can find. It's 11 o'clock now, so it's a bit later than I wanted to get away, but um, that's usual. So we'll hit the highway. Hopefully there's no road closures with this weather. We've had a few hundred mils of rain, so we'll just see where it takes us, hopefully. see a foot in front of you but um we're coming into a town called Maria now and it's known for flooding um, so I'll try and get some footage show you a bit of the water I haven't got much as I've been driving it's just been too wet um, to get out of the car but um yeah it's pretty crazy the amount of rain we've had it hasn't stopped for two weeks and I think we've got a lot more in front of us so this is only the start of the weekend's rain but uh head in down here and we'll see how this river's flowing over the bridge, eh? Craziness, eh? Hey? The water in that. So much water on the roads at the moment. It's just going to be a really slow trip, I think. But no hurry, so that's alright.
across the Victorian border. Yeah, it hasn't stopped raining the whole way. Um, I was hoping to stop somewhere in Eden for the night, but um, with the weather, I didn't really want to get off the roads and uh, get stuck. So um, I've continued along the highway. Looks like probably Obust is probably the next spot where there's a few camps along the river there. So it's about an hour away now. So. Looking 3.30, so hopefully I'll get in by about 4 o'clock. But just uh, come across a bit of an issue with the car, it's really weird. Um, it's kind of losing power um, under load as we go up the hill, it starts jumping a bit, losing the revs, and then uh, the dash is all uh, going a bit weird on me. So I've lost all my radio and all that. Um, I did pull over, have a look see anything wrong with it. I've checked the scanning system. Seems all good. So um, I guess we'll just keep plodding along. Maybe got some water or something in it with the amount of rain we've had. It's caused a bit of an electrical issue. Off. Seems to be. So um, we'll just keep plodding along. I've got about an hour to go and we'll uh, find a camp on the creek. I'm hoping there's a snowy river camp just before Obust, or Obust, I don't know how you pronounce it, but um, it's just before there, you follow the river along and you pull up on the snowy river, it looks alright on me, so um, that's going to be where we're stopping for the night, 123 k's, alright, well, what a day, just uh, knocked over about 500 k's, about six hours of torrential rain. It's been a crazy drive, but um, hopped down and we finally found a spot. This, right on the mouth of the Snowy River. How good's that? How good is that? Anyway, I'm gonna set up here. Crash for the night. No, the weather's actually been all right for the last probably 20 k's which has been good so they said it was going to clear up as I got south and it has so I'm happy with that a bit chilly but I'm going to whack up the tent cook some dinner sit here by the river alright let's do this What a beautiful morning it is here today. Check it out. What a beautiful snowy river this morning. If you can see it, but the water's that clear, you can see the clouds in it. Look at that. It's beautiful. That's one thing I do love about the rooftop. You're up nice and early, the sun comes up. You're awake, fresh, beautiful night's sleep. I needed that after the 270 k's yesterday. I was a bit tired, so I was kind of asleep by eight o'clock. It's good. Now I'm gonna get up and do this. Beautiful morning. Don't really have any plans today, so I'm just going to take it as it comes. Go have, have some coffee. Um, we're right at the mouth of the uh, Snowy River here, so I think I might head down to the point. I'm not, not even sure what's down there, but I'm going to head down, check it all out, and see if I can find where the actual mouth comes out into the ocean. Um, sounds pretty cool. And then just take it as it comes, find somewhere to crash closer to Melbourne tonight. All right, let's go have a coffee. Well, I just got my bottle of water out. I grabbed a six pack of water, just so I had something to drink and make some coffee and all that stuff with. Cracked the lid, had a sit and went, ooh, sparkling. Yay. <laughs> That's always good first thing in the morning when you're not ready for it. Uh, but, uh, I don't know how to boil it up, I'll boil it up and see if it uh, 
goes flat. I'll um, let you know. So there we go. Otherwise, I'll be uh, waiting for a coffee this morning. Hey. Eh? Oh, well, let's cook this up. Well, woke up to a stunning day. I'm just headed into Marlow now and see if we can find the mouth of the Snowy River. We're right on the entrance, so I'm not sure if you can actually get to the entrance where it comes out to the ocean, but I thought I'd just pop down and have a look. It's not even a kilometre down the road, so down here we'll see what we'll find hopefully find the mouth of the snowy river eh yeah we're coming into marlow so this is marlow it's a little town on the opening of the snowy river not sure how many people live in here it doesn't look like many nice little caravan park there that's the marlow caravan park on the right Here we are at the mouth of the Snow River. You can walk down there, there's a walking track, but I'm not gonna do it today. Runs out through there. I was going to put the drone up, but it's come up with a no-fly zone due to airport, so I'm um, a bit of a bummer. I would love to get it up and get a nice air shot of this, but not today. Look at that, finally made it to the mouth of the Snow River. People walking down there. It's a beautiful spot. It wasn't too cold last night either. It was um got down to about 10 degrees, but the tent was really warm. And it was a beautiful morning this morning. So been lucky after all the weather we've come out of. Oh here it is. hit the road for some more adventures I've got nothing planned today just following this road right around the coast until I get to Melbourne so I'll um, probably pull up uh, there's not many places to stay as you get to town so I'll probably pull up I don't know, a few hundred k's out of Melbourne find a spot up in the mountains there somewhere and then head back around to the factory in the morning so this is just awesome Gets me every time, Snow River. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just uh, pretty specky, eh? So it's about 10.30, we're just coming through Lake Entrance now. It's a nice little town on the um, river down here. It's, it's about, uh, I think it's around about 300 k's from Melbourne. But I've found a little campsite up in the mountains, so um, I think we'll head up there for the night. It's about probably two and a half, three hours drive from Lakes Entrance, and it takes us kind of up around Melbourne City itself. So I'll come in on the north side of um, Melbourne, the factories on the north side will work out all right. Um, get off the blacktop hopefully for a little bit and find a campsite down in the mountains on the river. So we're just coming through Lakes Entrance, nice little town. We'll have to come back down and uh, spend some time in Lakes Entrance, I think. It looks like a really nice place to stay. It's got everything there. It's caravan parks, um, mini golf, some water parks for the kids. It's, um, it's like a nice little town. So, um, we'll uh, definitely come back and uh, explore this place a bit more when I'm not in a rush to get down the highway but, um, wow check out this view check it out it's right on the water the river runs right up through here so nice if you've got a boat Sort of 
little spot in it. Goes right up through there. Look at that. Well, it's been a few hours driving. We've uh, just entered the Yarra Ranges now, so I'm going to try and find a, a camp. It's only early, it's like one o'clock, so I'm going to try and find somewhere that we can camp for the night, and then I might do a bit of exploring, see what uh, is out and about through the Yarra Ranges, but it's a beautiful landscape through here. I haven't had a chance to really stop and get any video, there's not much on the highway so um, hopefully now we're in the ranges I might be able to uh, get out do some exploring and find some nice places. Oh, or I'll, I'll show you a bit of the Yarra Ranges. Well the two campsites I was looking for I couldn't get to so I've come back down the mountain and I've ended up at Latrobe River campsite. It's not a bad little spot. It's got drop toilets. There's a few other people around. It's pretty spaced out, so it's a, not a bad little joint. Just gonna set up. Got my little tent already up. There's a little fire that someone's made for me nearly already. <laughs> Could go find some firewood. I don't have any wood on me, so that's all good. But there's a little walk down to the river, so we might do that, eh? Head down through there to the. Uh, River.
try and find some wood and have fire. Yeah. Well, sun's going down early, it's just on five o'clock. So uh, I've got a big day tomorrow anyway, so I think I might just uh, jump on into the rooftop and crash for the night. The uh, timber all around is soaking wet, so there's no chance of a fire. So I don't think I'll just crash, jump up early and we'll head to the factory. It is a nice little spot in here. Just sun goes down damn early. Look at Alright guys, I'll see you in the morning, mate. Morning. Well, it's like 3 degrees. Sleeping outside and I woke up early after uh, going to bed early. So I sort of jump in the car and start heading towards uh, Melbourne. So I've got about an hour and a half, hour 40 to go. So I'll just cruise in, find somewhere, grab a coffee. Head to the factory this morning. Eh? It's that cold, it's like sleeping outside. It's like just coming down. It's not raining, just that fine sleep. Yeah, three degrees. So it was warm in the tent. It was really, really warm while sweating in there. So it was um, good. All right, let's hit this road and head down to the factory. Eh? See it on the camera. It's just like sleep. Sleep coming down. It's pretty cool. Alright, uh, I'll focus on driving. Well, we made it to the factory. That was a fun trip. Um, the battery went flat in the GoPro, but it was foggy, sleeting. <laughs> Couldn't see a foot in front of me over the mountains, but. Um, yeah, it was about a two hour drive, but got here all right. So I'm just gonna crank a coffee, head on in. The boys are already started, seven o'clock and the shed's open. We'll uh, crack a coffee and then we'll head on in and I'll show you inside the factory, eh? Hey? Love this little machine, saves me turning on the inverter and uh, getting the stove out. The uh, van we're picking up, the customer's van. This one's a roadie. First roadie we've done. There's a few more little things we got to do. But, uh, this sandy talk is a very popular colour. We'll go in and have a look, eh? See what's inside. I haven't finished it yet, so. Here we go. Got the uh, VM processor in it. Apple keep it your home. Koala.com. The Qantas Hotels. Get that off. It's a double bunk. Big cupboard at the back. See so shelves are uh, hanging space. I've gone with hanging space. There's a few shelves down the bottom. Shower toilet. Still looking off the mirror. East West bed in this one, it's a 19 footer. Not a bad little van, very dark colours. Big compressor fridge in it. Cool, so that's the one we're taking back. Let's go and I'll show you. So it's factory, eh? So we got two others in here, the boys are just working on for the show. Got our rear club lounge. We've got our rear bunker. 
is the ProLine chassis we're using. These are the wall systems for CNC. Got the finger joints coming in here. See how they join them all. It's routed out. The walls come in, they're like a big shop up with a full sheep pie. All these are routed out and they join together like so. The boys are just stapling them up. We line them down and we're just staple them all together. It makes one solid wall. So it's not actual stick frame, what it is, it's a solid block of wall. Got all your windows routed out, all your boxes are routed out. They do all four walls and then they stand them up like this. And that's then when the uh, cables are all being roughed in. So we go together like that. Cool. Yep. It's 5.30, day at the factory, all hooked up, so I'm going to hit the road, we've got about a 10 hour drive up the coast now, so um, we'll cruise up, see how we go, we might have to stop somewhere, depends on how tired I get tonight, but um, see how we go, we'll uh, get this customer's van back up, hand over, eh? it's a day at the factory. Well, it's been a big drive. It's uh, one o'clock in the morning. It's three degrees, and I'm uh, probably about two hours from home, roughly. Uh, I've taken the usual road, but I hope that um, I didn't think about the rain they've had, so I hope the creek's open, but we'll soon find out once we get there. But I just. Uh, just quickly show you these trees. It's that cold outside. They're white. So um, check this out. trip for the last two hours I think um, and I'm still worried about the creek and we've got oh, I think we've got about 20 k's until we get to the creek crossing hopefully it's uh, not too deep we'll deal with that when we get there still can't get over these trees it's like frost is just insane we'll see what it's like at the top of the mountain no yeah, more fog. Well, we're almost at the creek. And I just had a little causeway back there that had about half a metre of water on it. So I'm just hoping that um, there's not much on this creek since it's two hour return trip. Pretty much back out and around. Yeah, so I've got just on an hour to home, so clock it back another hour and a half, 40 minutes down the mountain, other way. But, two more bends, find out. Don't really want to be trekking back at 20 to 2 in the morning. So. Well, let's see what this creek's going to give us, eh? Hey? test if I can't get across back in the back up this hill I don't know where I'm gonna turn around 
swarms of rabbits. Uh, oh, look at this. How lucky are we tonight? dreading that for the last hour. Thankfully the water's gone down and uh, we got to cross, eh? So hopefully uh, there's no dramas on the way home from here and about an hour from home. So, uh, should get home just on probably three o'clock. Big day. <laughs> 